Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at how to draw a small fish. Um, the fish that I've chosen today is called a sardine because I come from the east coast of South Africa and every June, July we have masses and masses of sardines that come up our coastline with tons of whales and dolphins. It's really, really cool. So I decided why not draw a picture of them. In this video we're going to be using food colouring and pens to make our sketches a little bit more colourful and interesting. Um, this is a really cheap and fun way to get used to the style of watercolours and see if it's something for you or not. You can click on the link in the description below to download the guide that I'm using in this tutorial. For this video you're going to need a piece of cardboard. A piece of paper won't work um, because we're going to be using quite a bit of water and uh, with the food colouring it can sometimes tear the page. So a good piece of cardboard is probably what you need. Um, a pen, a pencil and a paintbrush. Any paintbrush will do. I'm using um, a number six. Um, if you have a thicker paintbrush, consider drawing your picture a little bit bigger and then it will be easier to get those small details in. You're also going to need some blue food colouring and a palette of some sort. I'm using an ice cube tray. It works really well for watercolour painting. Um, also grab a scrap piece of paper to test colours on and some paper towel to dab off any mistakes. Let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is draw our fish or our sardines. So because this picture it's quite simple we need to make sure that the sardines are all lined up perfectly. You can just draw a line with, uh, with your pencil freehand or you could use a ruler and draw a nice straight line. This line should be really light because you don't want to see it at the end. This just gives us a guide for where to start and finish our fish. Now the fish it's just like a, a flattened oval shape so you can just curve your hand up, bring it back down. I like to flip the page over to get that curve easily and then the tail is a similar curve. So we're just going to start with this basic fish shape. We'll need four of them going down the page. You can see I've made my second one go in a different direction. It's just to add a little bit of interest to the picture. So let's draw our four fish now. All right, now that we have our four fish drawn, we're going to add in some of the details with the food coloring. Don't worry if your fish are not looking perfect. As we do the pen sketching, we're gonna tweak one or two things to make it look right. Now, we don't want to have just plain food coloring on our page. We need to add a little bit of water to the food coloring to make it easier to spread. Um, it also slows down the drying time, so you have a little bit more time to fix something or blend the paint in. I'm just using three brush loads of food coloring in my palette, and I'm just going to add two or three drops of water to that. The more water you add, the less intense the colour will be. So you, you want to find that balance between making it easy to use but also making it still look really bright and colourful. Just going to use my scrap piece of paper and test that I'm happy with the paint because looking at it just looks like a, a big dark blob. You can't really see the colour. Right, so if you're happy with your colour, you can get started. The first thing that we're going to do is just draw a, a, or paint a dark line across the top half of the fish. Just watch me paint one of the fishes and then pause the video and give it a try. Don't be trying to watch the video and paint it at the same time because you definitely are going to let it dry too long and then you're not going to get the right effect. So just watch it and then I'll tell you when to pause and you give it a try yourself. Okay, so it's a little bit thinner at first where it's faces and then you can really push down hard with your paintbrush, or harder, um, and get the rest of it. And then from round about two thirds of the way, just do a couple of dots across the page. Now what we're going to do is load our brush full of water and we're going to go over what we've just painted. And this is going to blend it together a little bit and give us that watery effect even add another brush load of water to it. You want it to be lighter at the bottom and a bit darker at the top. 
So don't rub your paintbrush up and down. Do lines across and that will make sure that the bottom still stays light. If you get a little bit too much of the coloring on the bottom of your fish, just use your paper towel and you can dab it off. Or if you're feeling that the fish is too dark, you can also just dab it off with your paper towel. But you can give it a try. Right, now that you've added your food coloring to the page, you need to let it dry absolutely perfectly. It should be bone dry before you try and draw on it. If you draw on this page now with a pen, the pen's just going to bleed into the wet paint. So give it about 10 minutes to dry. You can use your hairdryer if you like, and that will speed up the drying process a little bit. Now that our sardines are nice and dry, we can use our black pen to add a few details to them. So let's first start with just an outline of the sardine. So I'm just drawing light lines and several of them. So I'm not pressing hard and just drawing one solid line. Just nice and lightly use it to draw the outline. His mouth is going to be on the top half of of his body so it curves just before the bottom of his body and then you curve another line out almost parallel to it around the bottom so that's the position of the mouth you need to shade it in as two separate pieces okay I'm turning my page around so that my hand is nice and comfortable and I'm just drawing the bottom of the fish okay his tail is nice and easy just going to draw lines fanning out Give them a bit of an angle so don't just make them flat. Okay, then we're going to draw a few lines along the top and the bottom just to darken those edges make them look a bit rounded. So along the bottom just some really short little lines all the way along. They're at an angle so I'm not drawing them straight up. Okay and you need to do the same along the top. Just putting that line at an angle is going to make the fish look more rounded and three-dimensional. Okay, we can add his eye in. Do it um, before the end of the mouth. So it should be in this spot around about here. So you can draw a nice thick circle, draw a smaller circle inside of that. And there should be some darker shading in this bottom right corner. So you can make that quite dark and on the top left. And then color in that smaller circle, leaving a bit of white or a bit of light shading. His gill is going to come up in a C shape just after the mouth. Try and make it just before these dots start, but it doesn't matter if your dots are on top of it, it won't really be noticed. Then below that we've got a triangle, that's his little fin. Really light lines for this, a couple of lines inside it. Also got a small little fin on the top here, triangular shaped. Put some lines in it and at the back. Right, that's the shading that you need to add to each fish so you can just work your way down. And that is how you can draw a really simple picture of sardines. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button below. If you have any questions about using food coloring to liven up your pictures, please leave them in the comment section below. And consider subscribing to our channel. We put new videos up every week. Keep your eyes peeled for more videos on using food coloring to brighten up your sketches. Check out our next video on how to use food coloring to draw Winnie the Pooh.